Hi friends, if you want to create a tour and travel destination visit website, this video is for you. In this video, we have a great WordPress theme called Go Explore and Go Explore is a specialized WordPress theme for travel and destination tourism related services website. Okay, so travel WordPress theme, destination and directory and blog and this all can be made with the Go Explore WordPress theme and in this video we are going to create a demo website using Go Explore WordPress theme and we will also preview the theme options the basic customization option basically we are going to completely overview the Go Explore WordPress theme so that you may take your decision about this theme how to use this theme and how you can buy and install this theme okay so this is the theme and this has been developed by the parallel us and they are power elite author so you can create a your travel agency lodge club blog or destination website uh, using the Glow Explore WordPress theme and it has all the features that you need to start a travel or related services website and you can create anything designed to adopt this this theme has been designed to adopt and travel destination plugins are also here so that you may further customize your destinations and uh, like uh, directory like things with this theme so you can see the demo website this is uh, one of the demo website made with the go explore and this is another one so we are going to create this in this video and to start the installation and all such things we have to install a fresh wordpress and i am assuming that you are having a fresh installation of wordpress and you are already having a hosting plan with you you have a domain and if you don't have all these things simply follow the link given in the description you will get each and everything along with the theme pack in the link given in the description go to the website and choose your choice whatever you want you may also have the pre-installed theme there so let us begin the installation I have a theme pack this go explore this is version 1.3.28 and in the theme pack I have designed some PhD designs and logo has been supplied by the original developer itself and the documentation is here licensing the WordPress installable files around runaway framework is also here and the installable theme file and the XML format data export is also here the uh, form called the contact form is also and the change of text file is here so we are going to use this file for our installation purpose to begin the installation we have to be in the theme section of wordpress and click on add new upload theme choose file and here we need to choose this theme underscore theme hyphen go explore and this is the theme pack so don't try to upload the complete folder this is the installable theme file and if you are having direct access on your wp content themes folder uh, either through the wp file manager or control panel file manager or ftp you can directly upload the same file to the wp content themes folder i am doing the same i wish to show you the theme file size in fact and i will upload this first and the theme file size is just 3.96 mb it is really a well optimized theme this is why it is going to work fast on your website as well and once the progress bar turns green with 100 percent we can go back and extract the uploaded file the extraction outcome is this parallel as go explore folder in which we got all the theme components folders and files are here now we can delete the zip one it is not required because we have already extracted it and both uh, the interfaces of uploading theme will bring same results so don't get confused either you can upload the theme pack 
using this WordPress interface or you can upload the theme directly to WP content theme folder either using the file manager or FTP so whatever is easy for you you may follow that step and process to upload the theme okay so now we have uploaded the theme and we have this uh, another theme option along with the default theme this is runway go explore wordpress theme and let us check the details this is go explore version 1.3.8 it is a tool to build travel website for destination guidebooks bloggers and much more so created with the runway framework for wordpress so runway is a new framework for me at least and i have never used this framework in, in my installation and making websites let us see what it brings new for us in this installation let us activate this theme first and upon activation we got an alert that we need to install certain plugins in order to get the complete features of this theme let us see what is here and I have clicked on the install now and these are only four plugins that has been uh, recommended and required for this theme and it is great this this theme uses very less number of plugins and it is an indication of a, a stable wordpress theme because it has less dependency on external factors so it is really going to bring a long-term sustainable website for you okay so this is uh, being another advantage of using this go explore wordpress theme okay and now we are going to install all the plugins that is two are required travel destination is basically for destination settings and ninja forms is yeah of course for making the contact forms and slider is the for hero slider and content blocks for making the design blocks and the content blocks okay so i'm going to install all these plugins all four plugins and that also can be done in a single click okay so i'm first installing and if you are not confident about your server capacity just install the plugin one by one to avoid an error so now all the plugins have been installed and it is now back to the activation screen and i am going to activate all the installed plugins and it is also in a single click great so we have installed and activated all the plugins that has been recommended or required by the developer and now we can check the themes so plugin installer required type installed and activated so this screen is say, saying what we have done so it all plugins has been installed and activated now simply return to the dashboard and yes so now we can check our website how it looks with the theme and all setup plugins so this is being basic look of theme and it is of course without any content or demo content so at this stage we need to import either the demo content to make a website like any of these or we can start building your website to scratch from here we using our own design blocks and the uh, wireframes and whatever you we want to use. we can uh, have all the facilities and features of this theme from this step because we have already installed the theme and all set up plugins but yes wordpress is known for the pre-installed website and we can try to making a pre made website like this in this video only so let us explore the options to import the demo content and i believe it ha it is not available here we can check the theme options and i'll show you the theme options uh, what is here and what it can bring for you on your website but let us first uh, complete the installation with the demo website and there is no demo importer as here so i will check in the theme pack what is here so again i am back to the theme pack and the design is here documentation wordpress is here and this is the ninja form and this is the demo content so it is available in xml format only 
so we can check the documentation as well so everything is here okay so theme options and installation is here uploading my ftp and so permalinks need to be set first so we can set the permalinks just to check uh, we don't forget it okay so post name is here and we can set the permalinks as in the documentation and demo data so this is optional and the a full demo content file is included in the theme pack demo content xml after importing the data you will have the demo content so okay so it is not automated we need to import the demo content from the xml format and it can be done easily it is not a big task not a big deal simply go to the tools section and we can click on import and here we need to install the wordpress importer and now we can run the importer and here we need to choose the xml format which is available in the theme pack itself this is demo content uh, go explore dot xml file we can open it and click on upload file and import and here we need to assign the users for each elements each portion of the theme demo data and it can be simply one user everywhere because we don't have any other user and we have to check on this checkbox download and import file attachments and simply click on the submit and this process is going to take time because it is now going to connect the okay so it is it did not took time in fact and it is saying all done have fun it is amazing and we can check the pages what pages we have received and so this is not like uh, exactly we have not received any pages and let us check the media files so there is only one media file all pages is here strange what is here i don't know but it has been displayed on the screen that all done have fun so let us have fun but but fun is here okay so some posts are here so we can check our website how it looks with the demo content okay so this is being the ready website in fact and no images no content has been provided in the demo only placeholder images has been provided but yes we are ultimately not going to use these contents and this is the website it is ready website of course and it is not looking like the exactly demo website but yes it is complete because we have to put our own images and everything uh, at this website and we will be fine to launch our website basically this can all handle through the blog section i'm in the post section so these are only posts in fact so destinations and also things are only posts so we have to uh, the base travel wordpress theme is here and it is only a page i believe i mean we this this all section can be handled with the post and let us check in the background how it is working so time to explore useful tips and we can check the home page in fact uh, we can check the home page in the customize section what is here so it is all through the home page setting is here so it, this is latest post is our home page and we can also create a static page just in case if we have any static page here we can set the static page but by default it has been set to the latest post and it is simple it is like a blog website in fact it is destination and uh, all such things are can be handled through these post elements so 
this is a simple website it is like a blog website nothing else and we can create a menu and also things simple but effective you can start using this website i mean using this theme and you can add the content and make your website ready i believe these are the enough information about this theme and there is nothing to tell much about this theme so i'll so finally show you the theme control panel what is here and so destinations are here so i will show you the destinations these are the destinations and we can simply create new destination or edit the existing one and directory find more so we can create new destinations so destination is the main feature of this theme and you can add a new destination directory type directory items so all is here and uh, like camera shop this is directory item and you can always create these item so it all going to link with the destination that is that is going to be displayed on your page and you can control these elements and the data and the information at your website using the short code or similar like things so it is very simple and content block is also here so i'll show you the content block home page content right home page content left so this is the content block footer left right and similarly all sliders are here just in case so you have to create um, your own design almost and you have to decide the elements on your home page or the different pages and i'll show you the theme options now and this is being the theme options the, the default settings and the header background and all such things can be set here and the colors can be controlled fonts navigation login screen and advanced settings so these are the settings that's all about this theme and you can understand how you can use this theme and you might have certain questions regarding this theme so don't hesitate in asking any question in the comment section of this video and you can also follow the link given in the description to get this theme and get in touch directly with me i'll try my level best to answer your queries and i will definitely going to support you for installation process and also things so be with me and keep watching keep building thank you